the user interface of the original Unix operating system in the early 1970 came in the form of teletype terminals. Uh, so every output that a program made was written immediately onto paper and that consumed resources. And as a result, uh, many Unix tools have a very tierce output. They minimize the number of characters that are produced um, in order to be practical to use with uh, teletype terminals. Teletype terminals were eventually uh, replaced in the late 1970s with uh, video display terminals. One of the most influential ones here is the uh, DEC VT100 and the uh, terminal emulators that we use today to talk with command line uh, Unix shells and Unix tools are still emulating this particular type of terminal. So a, uh, one of these video terminals again emulates what the teletype terminal did, namely it had a serial port and each time you press a key on the keyboard, the corresponding ASCII byte was sent over the serial port cable uh, to the computer and any byte that came back uh, was written onto the screen. There's a cursor that marked the current position and uh, each byte that arrived output a character and advanced the cursor. There, um, the ASCII character set has a number of control characters such as line feed to start a new line um, that were used by uh, teletype terminals and the set of control characters and control sequences was then expanded by the video terminals to uh, provide programmers access to the additional facilities of these terminals. And there was an ANSI standard uh, written in the um, 1970s uh, that defined a number of so-called escape sequences that uh, for example, allow a programmer to tell the terminal to clear the screen or to uh, change foreground and background color of the text that's being output or to position the cursor at arbitrary X and Y coordinates. And so the escape character is um, ASCII code uh, decimal uh, 27 or hex decimal 1b. Uh, this is also the code that pressing the escape key on the keyboard uh, sends to the computer. Initiates one of these uh, ANSI sequences and the typical structure of these sequences, an escape character, then an open square bracket, then a comma separated uh, sequence of numbers, the parameters of the command, and finally, a single letter, that's the actual command. So for example, the lowercase m is a command that um, allows you to change foreground and background color. So if you send the command 7m, that switches into inverse mode where foreground and background color are uh, switched and 0m is returns to the normal uh, colors. And I've provided here a couple of uh, references where you can find the full list of these escape sequences. So as I mentioned, the uh, nature of the IO terminals did encourage this very compact and concise input syntax. Um, and it has become customary under Unix to make full use of the ASCII repertoire uh, to uh, assign to many punctuation characters um, a function such that with a minimum number of keystrokes uh, the user can do what they want. Likewise, the output format of Unix tools is generally very simple and concise that not only saves paper with uh, teletype terminals or saves on the 
number limited number of lines that can be displayed simultaneously on a video terminal or a terminal window but also uh, helps to make the output of one tool easily parsable as input for another program and this is actually something that's quite commonly done in unix that the output of one tool is piped into a uh, into the input of the next uh, program and then you have a processing pipeline of several tools where each reads the uh, input of the preceding tool and this way different tools can be uh, joined together to so-called pipes or scripts to solve more complex problems and there's a large number of tools that originally just performed a simple single function but then um, rather than writing more tools it became quite easy to add options and extensions to existing uh, tools so originally quite simple tools uh, over the years became very powerful um, with numerous options the main uh, user interface of unix the command line shell the program that receives the commands that you normally type into your keyboard is a normal fully replaceable program without any special privileges and as a result many people have written their own shell and there was some competition to add a lot of functionality to the shell and many of these shells have evolved to full featured programming languages and these shells are not only used as interactive tools for starting controlling querying the status of programs but they also are used as programming languages to automate routine tasks and they are particularly well suited for calling other programs and interacting with other programs.